Greetings, friends. Purple Gray here. So, third floor boss fight's coming up. Now, here's the unstable mass. I'm going to have to pause because I want to get a few preambles before this. Uh, first, don't forget to leave a like, to comment, and to subscribe if you've been enjoying this content. More synthetic, more terrible speedruns coming up, you know, stuff like that. Now, here we have unstable mass. Uh, it is generally more rare than the Arena Masters, which are the other stage 3 boss. It is sometimes harder. It really depends on your weaponry and your class. There's a lot of classes that do better. Things like Demolisher, who can deal AoE damage, Raider. And if your guns have piercing, you're going to be doing a lot better than most other things. It's just piercing is, is king on this boss fight. So, as you can see here, we have this first green ball. And we have these two little ones up here. I believe there's a third above it. There may not be early on. But... How this fight works is this green ball is the big the big boss. The green ball with the, uh, I guess, like, triangle pattern on it. And these two little ones will go around and drop out even smaller ball things that will just follow you forever. Now, you can farm this boss for literally anything in the game. Say you have a medic FMG9, you could just keep killing the little green ones, and they'll just keep spawning and spawning and spawning. They count, they give you money, they give you XP, they give you everything. It's just like a normal enemy, except it lasts forever. But... That comes with the danger of possibly dying. But, you know, who cares about that? Uh, boring danger. Okay, well, I'm just going to get into the boss fight. The, uh, when it's doing attacks, I'll tell you. So, it only has one real attack. And it's... Let's see if it'll jump. This is it. It splats down, and that's it. Now, when it splats down, it will kill any of the little green... These little green guys that it lands on. And it will gain health for everyone it lands on. There we go. See, it killed all of those, and it gained all of its health back. Now, if I shoot it again... Oh, boy, I'm getting ran down. Hold up. And also, you can see that I'm getting a lot of goods for killing these guys. Come on, land on them. So there... This is a... Re it is a regenerating boss in general. It does regen. Okay. And there you go. Now it's up to full health because it killed its own things. Okay, and then these guys you can kill, and they will go away. I am out of ammo. Hold up. Okay, so... You can just focus the boss itself, because it will only gain health when it lands on the little green guys, which doesn't always happen. But if you kill all three of the green blobs, I believe every 33% health it summons another few. So let me get this guy down. Oh, yeah, I guess it's 50%, not 33%. Now we, we just kill these again, and it'll be the same boss fight that it's been the whole time. Now, it does just regen base, and it has the overdrive, which makes it a little faster. Uh, up at the top right, there is variants of bosses. There's regenerating, heavy armored, um, heavy fire. They, they all do different things. I believe overdrive just makes it faster. Now, it takes damage when it jumps, but it also just base regens. So no, no big deal on the damage it takes. It's kind of unimportant. And that's it. That's this entire boss fight. There's no real difficulty in it. Uh, it's just a swarm-based boss. The boss itself isn't a real threat. It's more the little guys that will kill you. So, the jump does deal a significant amount of damage, but it can be dodged just by walking. And you have a dash. So, once it starts its jump, it'll land wherever you are. And then if you dash away, you just won't get hit by it. It's not a hard boss fight, once again. And it is farmable. You can get a lot of XP, a lot of money... A lot of everything from it. Well, there's our first boss on floor three. Once again, this one is more rare, so it's much less likely that you'll see it. The Arena Masters, which I will show next, are the ones that you're probably going to run into. And I'll see you guys in that fight. All right, welcome back. Here we are with the Arena Masters. Now, the Arena Masters are just different colored variants of the Incinerator, a Riot Guard, and a Ion Trooper, I believe. And they can be elite. So you might run into an elite version of these. They have names... The only one I can remember is Fonzie on the Ion Trooper because I think it's a funny name. Uh, but let's just let's just go into it. Once again, the Arena Masters are just base forms of enemies. Now, they they have very large shields, which you can break with your uh, stun grenade as the Riot Guard, which is really really good. I shouldn't have killed him because now I can't explain. But that is an Ion Trooper. He's essentially a sniper and will usually sit in the back. I guess he spawned up close this time, and they will shoot each other. So. As you can see, we've got an incinerator right here, a riot guard who has soft point shells on his bullets and will stun you with them and slow you, but that, that's not too big of a deal. Now, 
They usually end up sticking by each other if you cannot kill them. However, they can just shoot each other, which is uh, usually if you're low on DPS, you can get them to kill each other. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill these guys off. They are literally just base enemies and that's it. They have no second phase or anything. It's just three enemies. One spawns here, one spawns here, one spawns here. They have all right shields and they're just elite versions that can be elite versions or they're essentially just upgraded versions of the incinerator. Ion Trooper, and a Riot Guard, and that's it. There's nothing special about these bosses. The third floor bosses are generally more boring. Uh, I think that the first floor bosses are probably the most exciting, and then you have the second floor, which is kind of your DPS check phase, and then the third floor, which is just eh. And then the fourth floor bosses, which is the final boss, is where it really gets interesting. But I already have guides on all those other floors of bosses. You can go check them out, see all those bosses, how to beat them. And that'll be it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification if you haven't yet. Um, don't forget to leave a suggestion for what some of the next videos should be. Uh, I'm done with all the boss videos. I've covered about half of all the classes, builds, and abilities. And I have a few more ideas of what to come. But, you know, if you guys want to see some specific stuff, such as, I don't know, ammo, or doing a boss with each class, maybe, then, you know, I can, I can work those in. Just don't forget to leave them in the comments. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Wow.